Good day. Today is Friday, April 23rd, 2021. This is your host, Alex, with another episode of the Corporate Cowboys podcast, powered by Incorporating Associates. It's a special day today. It is special indeed. Decided to do one of these. Take it slow. Slow it down. I decided to do one of these episodes real quick before I head over to my next gig. And... And the idea came to me, and in deliberating it, I feel that it should be addressed. I think it's obvious, and yet nobody is talking about it. Everybody is talking around it. That's an odd way to live life. This concept of dessert, D-E-S-E-R-T, this concept of deserving, whether or not you deserve something. Some folks think you can vote on it. And because you vote on it, you become entitled to it. We might call those civil rights. And in a democracy, the individual isn't at all valued when compared with the group. The group will necessarily eliminate the individual in the name of preserving the group, even if the individual is part of the group. Damn, that got criminal quick. (laughs) Fuck it, I tried. I tried, man. That's some corporate cowboy shit. I fucking tried. This notion that democracy is what dictates your life. Are you fucking kidding me right now? You're going to let somebody else tell you what to do because somebody else voted on it. You're going to fucking, you're going (laughs) to, you're going to sit here with the fireworks stand and (laughs) you're going to tell me that because somebody voted that I'm a piece of shit, I become a piece of shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Democracy, democracies aren't worth shit. (laughs) Democracies are easily toppable, easily overthrown. Kings, fucking kings and royalty aren't voted in. It's honor, it's integrity, it's individuals that are voted in. And it's different. It's different because society, human society, is a democracy. Doesn't matter where you hail from, where you come from. It's the constant, it's the constant <clears throat> politicking even if you are even if you think you're living off of the grid even if you think you're living off of the grid you're part of society sure you can choose to close yourself off from the world like many of us have many of us might many of us will and become islands 
but we aren't inanimate. We aren't just a pile of sand sitting in the middle of an ocean with a palm tree coming out the top. We're humans. We live to work, we work to live, and together we can do a little better. Always. That's the point. Remember, the point isn't to be the best because to be the best, you just have to cut yourself off. You can crown yourself a la Napoleon. But there's a difference between crowning yourself and being crowned. There's a difference between <clears throat> not overtaking, but there's a difference between getting voted on and volunteering. Life is a meritocracy. And in a meritocracy, it's the individual that's placed at the top. It's the one person. And they aren't alone. They have an organization. They have a network. Because if that were the case, these, these lonely ass, these lonely as fuck people, males and females, they might be at the very top, right? But if they aren't meritorious at all. If they don't have a network, when they benefit, if they aren't working together, if they, are, if they are only working for themselves, well then you have a democracy all over again. I guess the point I'm trying to make is that democracy is corruptible. And a meritocracy is not. Sure, it comes in a wave cycle fashion. You must be meritorious in order to have some success in democracy. But in democracy, you don't always have to be meritorious. You just have to politic. You just have to poly trick. Meritocracy always wins, though. Why else would we have it? Why else would we chase? Why, why else would, would we pursue happiness? Why else would we pursue what's good, what's better? Not just life and liberty. We want something more. We want something better. Why else would we, cho would we choose to pursue perfection you know why because if we stop we become an island we don't achieve perfection just because we don't need it you have to want it you have to want it and a meritorious person wants it they want to be better they don't even want to be the best. They want to be better. Society is a democracy. Life is a meritocracy. Yeah, I'm going to have that posted. And a meritocracy isn't talked about at all in modern society. It's like just having enough votes makes you worthy. When in reality, it, doesn't, it makes you a nobody. <laughs> it doesn't make you anything special. Because you could get 
voted in and still fuck it up. You could volunteer and still fuck it up. The meritorious just rises to the occasion naturally as life would have it. Man, life creeps up on you. Life is fast. Life is slow. Life is what you want it to be. As long as you're moving. As long as you're moving with the intent of being meritorious. With the intent to actualize and manifest this meritocracy that actually empowers democracy, that facilitates democracy, that allows democracy to even exist. You could say meritocracy is the moral equivalent to capitalism. (laughs) And democracy is the moral equivalent to socialism. Perfect systems in theory on paper from an armchair in which from which you can quarterback from the back seat as a driver <laughs> in practice though it's capitalism. that creates, it's capitalism that innovates and it's meritocracy that creates, it's meritocracy that innovates. And this shit ain't even that special. This episode wasn't even that deep, maybe deep for some, but Lightweight. This wasn't even... I feel like it's just not talked about. The last time I heard about meritocracy was years ago. I mean, actually, officially discussed. I remember being younger. I might have read it in, what, high school civics class? Maybe even community college? And that's the last time. That's the last time. Modern education doesn't promote the meritocracy. I wasn't going to I was going to say doesn't push the meritocracy, but yeah, I get it. Push is that active word. Might be intrusive on some, assaultive for others, harassing you or harassing us with meritocracy. Yeah. Has to be pushed. I mean pushed in a way like you push drugs has to be hustled, has to be sold. You have to want it. You have to fucking want meritocracy. Because if you want, because if what you want is only democracy, you're going to find yourself lost in a sea of voices, in a sea of interests, and none of them will reflect your own. You can visit us on Instagram. Follow us. It's Corporate Cowboys. You'll recognize the picture. Otherwise, the handle is at incorporating underscore associates. Hold on. (laughs) That's at incorporating dot associates underscore IA. On Patreon, you can subscribe. Keep the operation non-profit. It's a Corporate Cowboys podcast. If you want to send a direct donation, it goes towards expenses and legal fees. PayPal.me slash Corporate Cowboys. Uh, Venmo me if you want directly. That's Alex underscore Coco. And Cash App is also 
available. That's dollar sign corporate cowboys. And it feels good, man. This week was was eventful, low key eventful. In moments, I felt like it was moving slow, but you know what they say: slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Baby, I was gliding. I was fucking just gliding through the week. Now that we're at the end, the weekend can officially begin. I still have work to do. I told you, I got my next gig. What time is it? And that's about 15 minutes. Have a great weekend. Learn something.